Peace, power, and chaos, my beloved brothers and sisters. Once again, it is your humble servant, Brother Bazu Ankh Amin, coming back at your ass with another download for you to divinely decode. Power to the dark side. I won't be long, but I will be strong. Lord have mercy. Brothers and sisters, I recently heard some nonsense. What kind of nonsense you heard, Brother Abazu? I'm glad you asked. God damn it. Thank you for raising your hand this time. I heard that the quarterback for USC, somebody said USC, Caleb Williams, the projected number one pick in the next NFL draft, is being advised or, or he himself, I don't know if he himself came out and said this or, or he just being advised but I'm hearing that a, a, as if the brother is contemplating somebody said contemplating sitting out the remainder of the goddamn season now watch this oh my god watch this now the question would be why would it even be a thought in his mind that he will want to sit out and miss all that time. When he was winning, it was all good. I'm going to say that again. When he was winning, it was all good. When he, when he was able to say, oh, he hadn't threw an interception one, it was all good. Now you went from maybe throwing... No interceptions or, or he threw one pick. God damn it. Now you're throwing goddamn look like three in one goddamn game. Seems like God damn it. I don't know what it is. But I think you 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 you, you done drop two in a row. Guess what they you, you look at how how much criticism all these people have for Colorado and Coach Prime. Guess what Coach Prime and them never did? Take a while, guess. I'll give you a second. Your time is up, God damn it! Sit your ass down for the answer. What they did that Coach Prime and them never did was lose two games in a row. Coach Prime ain't never lost two games in a row. But Colorado stick, ESPN College Sports saying, stick a fork in Colorado, they done. You got other people saying, oh, 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 the, the, the Cinderella story is over for Coach Prime. Oh, my God. Last time I looked, USC lost two games. Coach Prime and them lost three. But Colorado, stick a fork in Colorado. Their season is done. But USC still alive and well. Make it make sense. Advising him that he, he needs to consider as to just losing two goddamn games. Two games. He needs to consider sitting out the remainder of the year. Why? Cause, 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 cause his uh uh his draft stock might drop. Could that be it? You don't want the the, the uh, uh you don't want people to to start seeing your flaws being magnified. Could that be it? Now you you you're making bad decisions. You're being exposed. You're throwing all kind of interceptions. You're being exposed. Scrambling around, running around like a chicken with his head cut off. You're being exposed. Lost two games in a row. You're being exposed. You, you're ready to sit out and quit on your goddamn team. But y'all say, should Shadoa need to, need to humble himself? Okay. Okay. Somebody needs to tell Caleb Williams. That he needs to maybe go put a fresh coat of polish on his goddamn nails. Maybe change up his goddamn colors. Put a few more hearts on his pinky finger. And maybe he'll play better. What kind of leadership would you be showing quitting on your goddamn team mid-season? Quitting on your team mid-season because you, you don't want to affect your, your, your draft stock. Because something tell me you ain't a lock. Because if you start looking bad and, and let's say somebody like a Bo Nix or uh, uh, old boy for Washington, Penix, 
if somebody like that coming out with you, maybe they'll surpass you. He feeling them boys breathing down his goddamn neck. That's why he thinking about it. His stats is looking a little shaky. He, he, the film on him looking a little shaky. That's why he thinking about that. Has nothing to do with, with the potential of injury. I'm not letting him get away with that. I'm not letting him get away with it, goddamn. So in closing, somebody say in closing. Caleb Williams, y'all saying like he's so much better? He's so much better than Shador? I beg your pardon. For you Oregon fans, some of y'all say, oh, Bo Nix, believe in Bo. Okay. Last time I looked, when I went look at Bo Nick's stats, when he was with, with, with Auburn, I challenge y'all, go look at Bo Nick's stats when he was with Auburn. And you tell me if he better than Shadow. You know what's saving Bo Nick's? All them superstar athletes he got around him, all them wideouts that he got around him, that fire ass, them fire ass uh, uh, running back, Irvin, that he got behind him. That's what's saving Bo Nick's. That powerhouse ass offensive line he got protecting his ass. That's what got Bo Nix looking so good. He'll get exposed in the league as well. Mark my word. Go look at his Auburn stats and tell me if he's better than Shadur. Look at what Caleb Williams been, been putting up the last two weeks, staking up the joint. And tell me he's better than Shadur with a straight face. Power to the dark side.